Alton and Stu Kiel. Hi guys. Hey, how are you? What's up? We're uh, just talking politics during the uh, commercial, but we're not talking about politics. Oh, baloney, we're talking about politics. <laughs> vote, right? Vote often. No. <laughs> uh, Oh my gosh. Tuesday. Maybe we get some of these ads off the TV then. People have asked yeah. you about whether you ever consider running for office, and you actually have considered. Oh yeah. I really would love, love to have done it. I don't know that I could have been any different. I, I really think, I think, I honestly believe first time people or people going into it really think from their heart they're going to do what's right. I mean, there are exceptions to that. Then they get into it. Then the parties get so strong on you and say, if you don't do this, then you're not going to get to do this. Mm -hmm. And I think they get caught up in it, and it's just, it's, it's too bad. It's really too bad. I, I would not be, you know, whether I was a Republican or Democrat, I guarantee I wouldn't vote with them 100% of the time. I, I wouldn't. I mean, I like to be independent to a degree. I'm sure I believe more in this party than this party, but it's just, um, it's ridiculous. And these ads, can you really believe any of these ads? How much could you believe 10%, 20%, 50%? I don't know. Everybody twists everything. That's where I'd get in trouble. Because I'd hopefully say what the truth, and they twist it on me. You know how I am now. No, 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 no. All <laughs> truth. All truth. You know, but it's, um, you will be glad to get it off. I mean, my wife and I would sit there, and we watching TV or something, these ads, and then they repeat them. Yeah. And they repeat them. I mean, like, run after the other. Then it's for this candidate. Then it's for this candidate. Run against this candidate. Well, the Alyssa Slack and Tom Barrett race is oh my the most gosh. expensive. Oh, Congressional race in the entire country out of 435 entire races. Country. $37 million. million dollars. That just um, those two people word. have spent to. Does that, that make sense? No. I don't think that makes sense. No. That's, that's, you know, and you have to, what can you believe on, on those things? And that was one that I could talk about a little bit too here, just stuff. But I mean, I guess, Bart, if I was running against you, I'd just I'd say whatever I wanted to say about you. They do. And half the people would believe. <laughs> you know, Stu's been on our show uh, many times, but. His work has been on probably even more often. Uh, Stu is the brains and the, the talent behind Good Things Going, which is featured every month here on GTV. Yep. How, did, how did that ever come about? From the beginning? Yeah. How much time do we have left in our we segment? Uh, uh, <laughs> we were going to launch it in 2020 in mid year, just with the elections, we figured, ironically, you know, just we thought the world needed some positive news. So we planned on releasing it like June-ish of 2020 and then the pandemic hit and a lot of people in marketing were kind of like sitting on your hands because it's like, you know, no one wants to talk about insurance at the start of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So uh, we told the leadership team, you know, this is something that we should launch early and, and, it, and it happened. And so first right. videos of Michigan Center, I think it got 30 or 40,000 views like overnight. We had one like on the page to start that just when we launched that video and that was my wife. She was the only person that liked it. <laughs> and then we got, we had a couple thousand after that. But uh, yeah, it's been really fun. And, and the Teacher of the Month program has been super cool. I know we had Steve Tucker on last week for the Charity of the Quarter mm -hmm. uh, to be able to highlight. And so before when we do these videos, you know, we sponsor a lot of events throughout the community and golf outings and whatnot. Uh, but you know, when we do the videos, these nonprofits love it because it's like, hey, you know, get a video, Let's get, tell our story. We want more people to know yeah. our story. Um, but we wanted to add the financial component in with it too. And so our plan was to evolve good things going into that so we can now not only tell their story, but then also raise funds through uh, people that refer or we new business that we do at the agency, we make a donation on their behalf. So it's been a really cool uh, value prop for the uh, nonprofit and, they, and it's been pretty cool. So we've already got our next quarter, our Q1. I haven't told you about that one yet, Rick. Actually, it was being filmed right outside your building yesterday, so I, I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away, but um, so that'll be our, our nice. first one. Well, Christmas, uh, as you know, Christmas is Rick's favorite holiday, and every year the agency does something pretty cool for mm -hmm. Christmas. What are you doing this year? Uh, nothing. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> we're, we're going to uh, rent the Michigan Theater and have a movie in there. It's going to be Elf, right? Elf. What? By one vote. Elk. Elf. 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 <laughs> we one did vote. have Elf, maybe. Uh, we rented those reindeer for the walkthrough. What came in second? Uh, Polar it's Express. Polar Express. Uh. You know, we think we're going to get more kids and kids, you know, more. Polar Express is, I'd rather watch Polar Express, but I think that's more of a good for the general population of Grown kids. Grown-ups like Elf probably better than the... Yeah. I, I don't know. I've never seen Polar Express. But then how do you know? You just made a comment. What, are you a politician? Are you a politician or something? You don't even know. See? I tell you. 
No, so that's what we're going to do. We'll have that. We'll have popcorn for them. We'll have pop for them. We'll have some other little things we're going to give away. And it's just uh, be a nice night to take your kids down to the Michigan Theater, which is a cool theater, a cool theater you're going to find. And enjoy a movie, have some popcorn. Uh, we're going to have some other little things we've been talking about there. And it uh, should be a fun night. should be a fun night for everybody. So. And it's free. And it's free. It's completely, yeah, completely free. free. Popcorn's free. The pop's free. The movie's free. Um, and some of the giveaways are, mm -hmm. we're going to charge a lot for those. Don't we're we'll charge for the giveaways, and Rick's going to do a speech in the beginning. So if you want to get there early to see the speech, there is a $50 early, yeah, early. VIP early. section only. I'm going to so. speak for about an hour and a half. Right yeah. now, so. So. <laughs> see how late into the bedtime we can push it. Right. So we'll, we will have uh, more details in, in the coming future here on the time that the, the movie will start. So be, be on the lookout for that. But we're trying to make it a little bit of an earlier evening for parents that are out. It's yeah. a Friday night. Uh, so football season will be over, and uh, so it'll be, it'll be cool. Oh, perfect. Have you ever been to an event at an event where Rick is on the microphone and they cut it? They cut the they cut the power. They cut the audio. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't believe I've been at one where they've cut it. But they, uh, I might have made a few bets on with people on how the length of it. And so there's oh. actually someone that owes me. I haven't told you this story either. That owes me a round at the country club. Really? Oh, based on I bet on the under. Well, so. Oh. And I went over? You went, no, you went under. I do want to. I bet. Oh, because you won. You, you bet the yeah, under. Okay, yeah, yeah. you bet the under. Right, gotcha. Yeah, I'm not trying to be very long. I mean, other, of course, when I was out Spring Iron, it was kind of oh, <laughs> funny. Oh, well, that was a great speech. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it was funny when, when they were standing there, and I said, so no, I got a few things yeah. to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> were you there? I was there. <laughs> That's what I won the money on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I've got things to say. Mm -hmm. i got things to say. You know, actually, tomorrow I'm going to speak at... Uh, the Kiwanis, which I'm looking forward to. I mean, the Kiwanis Club does a lot of good things in this community, like a lot of the other clubs like that do too. And mm -hmm. uh, just to talk about, uh, and I can't believe the money, amount of money they really do spend and, and time, the people they do. So I'm fortunate enough to be able to speak to them about a couple of things. Right, so they're giving you an award? No, nope, I'm not no. giving an award at all. No, nope, just to talk about something that's going on in this community, a little thing, you know, about um, kids and whatever. And mm -hmm. so I'm just going to come in and speak, and I get a free meal. I saw it. Joe Wolf yesterday, and the newspaper sales back. This year, they yeah. had to stop it for the pandemic. Well, and, and, and Joe, that's not Qantas, is it? Is Joe Qantas? Is he Qantas? Yeah, it's Qantas. He is. Yeah. I couldn't think. You know, and Joe and I are good buddies. I can't think. And Joe's been such an incredible member of that organization. Yeah. Um, shoot, I didn't. I you know, so I'll see him tomorrow. Good. I really see him tomorrow. I got to give him a hard time. You know, whatever. Because <laughs> again, we've been friends for a long time. Yeah, so that's been a great thing. He's been at that newspaper sales since, I think, 1922. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing this weekend? Um, well, this week, tomorrow night, um, is tomorrow night the Y? Or is that next week? That's next. That's the 11th. Well, you know, I think party I'm gonna, for a cause? I think I'm going to party for a cause. I'm going to go to Jackson Christian, I think, tomorrow night. They have an event. You know, I've been mm -hmm. asked to go there, and I think, I think we'll go there tomorrow night. That's what we're going to do. And Saturday, actually, I'm going away. We're going away so uh, for, a couple, for a night, and um, it's pretty much it. You know, and then we're talking about some Christmas shopping. We're trying to make it simpler this year. Mm -hmm. So we do too much. We all do too much, and and uh, she's I need to stick with that because we made that pact in right. our family this year too. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, we made that pact for at least five years, and we never lived up to it. But I think this year <laughs> will be a little bit more. But then you get closer, you know, and you say. And I don't like doing it for the little kids. You can't do it for the little kids. Those little kids got to have you presents, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The big kids, all they want anyway is money. Right. You know, let me go buy my own things that I want and everything else. So, and Stu's so hard to buy for, you know. It's so just socks, for. that's the only thing. Socks. Socks. Yeah. You, you, did, you, sock got, boy, you got yeah, a Green Bay Packer socks a couple of years yeah, a year yeah, ago. Yeah, I brought them for you. Yeah, that's right. that was very that's nice. Right. What are you no, doing I, this week, um, we are Lumen Christie game Friday night. Yeah, yeah that's the plan. Too. They're at home, and then we are going to the Lions Packers game on Sunday. Oh, nice! Yeah, a few of us, some friends, and it's going to really? be a, yeah, it'll be a good time. I mean, it should be fun. Luckily, the the Packers are struggling this year. It could be, uh, <laughs> it could be a game. We have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great! Thanks uh, to both of you for being here, and thanks for putting on Walton Christmas Movie Night, December sixteenth. That's it. That's it. We've run out of time. Thanks to Stu and Rick and everybody with us here today. Monday on the morning show, Ryan Cottingham, one of uh, Stu's yeah. friends. Jeff Beckman, another one of Stu's friends. Uh, Julie Conkle, Aaron Valkachek from Farm Suds. Jacob and Jordan Bailey from Bailey Excavating. And yeah. Monday afternoon, Kelby Wallace, Dave Wallahan, Lonnie Hildepont, and Dennis Hayek. 